Good day, uh, friends, uh, viewers, and students. Whoever viewing my video, this would be the fourth in the series of uh, videos on congruent triangles. I was continuing on. I was doing uh, chapter number uh, exercise number seven point one. This is the last question, which is uh, uh, some which has to be done from exercise. X size uh, 7.1 this is the last one which is number 8 question number 8 question number oh, 8 talks about a right triangle it says right triangle and with this uh, at C so I will take this one as C okay this is A this is B Okay, you have to join A, B, A, B, and you have to search its midpoint. Let this is the midpoint, and then you join and you call this midpoint as M. You join C, M, and you reproduce it. I mean, uh, extend it, not uh, reproduce it. You extend it uh, uh, to up to D up to D so that uh, CM is equal to CD so that C is joined to and produced to such that DM is equal to CM DM is equal to CM okay now I have to I have to join BD I will join BD like this straight away like this and I will then have to prove that, uh, show that, they don't say prove, they say show that, show that, that triangle AMC, AMC is congruent to triangle BMD. What is, which one is, let us uh, uh, hatch it, which one is AMC, AMC, this means this triangle, this particular triangle, okay, this particular triangle, and we have the other triangle is BMD, BMD means uh, this triangle, BMD means this triangle, BMD is this triangle, okay. Okay, now, uh, uh, first of all, prove that they are congruent. Show that first one. So we will take up this one. Okay, in order to show this one is a congruent triangle is very easy because it has already been given uh, DM is equal to CM and M is the midpoint of AB. Uh, AB. So uh, uh, AM is equal to BM. Okay, let us use our usual procedure. Let us do this instead of doing it like that. This would be triangle AMC. This is this is the other triangle. So we will write DM here. This is equal to CM. Uh, okay. Uh, CM will DM will be belong will belong to D B M D. So we will reverse this so that you know it. So CM is equal to DM and AM is equal to BM. Okay, this becomes easier if I follow this uh, uh, technique in. and this angle. Angle D M B angle D M B is equal to angle A M C. Why? These are given. So I will write this is given. This is given. And this one is alternate vertically opposite angle not alternate vertically opposite 
angles. So therefore, therefore this one is congruent to this. I don't have to write down again. So what do I get out of this? What do I get? I need to not only prove this congruent, but I must take certain things from here. One of them is BD. BD is equal to BD is equal to AC is equal to AC. That means this side and this side are equal. Also, it is said that uh, 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 proof DBC is a right angle. This angle is given. This angle is given as 90. Okay. Now, if this angle is 90, I have to prove this angle. Okay, so this is one of the uh, things that I have to do. The second thing, this is very important. See, uh, it has been given, I can also take M CM. CM is equal to AM, right? This is correct. CM, because this is congruent, because this would be... Uh, congruent uh, corresponding parts of uh, congruent triangles okay i can take that and i can also take as angle uh, i have also taken ad ab uh, uh, bd and ac i have taken this is also a cp ct okay now at this one CM and AM this equation one equation one one multiply by two on both sides that is equal to two CM is equal to two AM okay is that correct Yes. What is 2CM? 2CM is equal to CD. This is equal to CD. And 2AM, 2AM is equal to AB. Okay. Now, why I have taken this? This is continuing on, on both sides. Okay. So, this come after that. So, I have got two points. BD is equal to AC and this one. So I will take this point, this I will designate it as I and this is as 2. Okay. And now I will change instead of these two triangles, I will erase this hatching which I have done before. I will erase this hatching but I will retain the figure because that will be useful to me in for the subsequent thing, subsequent proving. Subsequent proving, it will be required for me. So I will only remove this hatching so that it will not lead to any confusion. I could have done another one, but I think continuing with this would be much better. Okay, let us uh, repair a little bit. Okay, they repair the figure a little bit. I have repaired this figure. Okay, let us see what I want to do now. Okay, now I want to take two triangles, that is triangle uh, DBC, DBC and triangle I want to take triangle and, and now this time I will use the and one and I will take triangle ABC. Okay, then I will again do HR. From triangle DBC, I will have BD. BD that is equal to AC. Okay, right. Okay, this is, uh, okay, I didn't hear, I didn't say this belongs to, these are two sides, S, A, S rule, congruency, this con SAS rule for this congruency. Please check this one out. 
and I have CD. I have uh, CD or CD or you can write uh, instead of like this, I will go on this. So anyway, I have used CD. I will use CD here also. CD, so I will use BA. Okay, this is AB, that is I will change it to say BA. Okay, this is the one, uh, one is uh, like this. So these two are, uh, I have done and I will see BC is common. BC is equal to BC. So this is common. Common to both the triangles. So by, by so by, SS rule, SS rule, triangle BBC is congruent. Now I will write congruent. Is congruent, is congruent to triangle ABC. Okay, which means these two triangles. Let me hatch it now. And that will give you a, maybe a better perception. This triangle, this triangle, and this triangle, and this triangle, they are congruent. What does that give me? If they are congruent, okay? Now say instead of writing, uh, I have written this one, they are congruent. As they are congruent, from here I can, I will go all the way up to here. So let me go all the way up to here to write. So from there I can say angle ACB is equal to angle, angle ACS, so it will be D, B, C. Angle ACB is given as 90 degree. So this is 90 degree. This is angle DBC. So which is one of the requirements? One is to show that this and the other one is to show this is as 90 degrees. So this is done. This is done. Okay. And the second one, the third one, you have to do in order to do this. So the, it is asked that show angle DBC is equal to angle A, A this should be angle ACB because D, DBC, so angle, not angle ABC, this should be angle ACB. Okay, this would be angle ACB. So wherever I have written uh, uh, this thing, DBC, DBC, so this should be ACB. This should be ACB. Okay, because you have to maintain the order. I was uh, um, uh, I was not very careful. So it should be DBC. So uh, from D, this one, so it should be ACB. I hope you uh, you are able to uh, find out this one. In fact, this is this. There is something wrong in this question. In in fact, this should be number two instead of in this thing is given as number three. So number three is already proven. After you prove number uh, uh, this one, you can prove that this one is at ninety degree. And CM is equal to half AB. CM is equal to half AB. Okay. So you can take it uh, half, you can take it from here, here itself. Okay, here you can see, uh, let us take this point from here, let us go around this and go here, and uh, 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 yes, yeah, so, okay, this is for this, and this is for this one. It starts here, and this one is starting here. Okay, now here I have, you can see, 2CM, 2CM is, is equal to, is equal to AB, 
AB. Therefore, CM is equal to half AB. So this thing is a little bit, as soon as you prove that these are, this, is, this should be given to, because this you have to prove first in order to do this one and this one. This is number, this is number four. Okay, so in order to prove number uh, two and uh, four, you have to first prove this, this congruency. So I think the order of questions that is given in question number eight should be changed. It should be number two should become uh, number three and then it should be followed subsequently. I think this completes exercise number one. You have to see all the previous videos. I cannot repeat the same thing in, in the video if something uh, is incompletely left uh, in the previous video. Okay, then we will rub this one and uh, I will again go on requesting you that you must uh, uh, view and study. It is not only viewing, it is studying. See whether uh, you understand whatever I have written. If you have some difficulty or I have made a mistake somewhere, Please send me a comment. That sending a comment will be very, very beneficial to both of us. Because if you send the comment, it clearly shows that, uh, 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 that you have uh, viewed and studied. Not only view, says not only view, uh, you have to study this. You have to take a paper and pencil and then you have to, uh, you have to exercise whatever written on the board. So, uh, uh, I will now go, this, this is chapter is complete, there are, would be a series of the video on uh, chapter 7, this is some properties, this is 7.4 in this thing, it talks about some properties. Some properties of a triangle. Okay, of a triangle. Okay, what are the some properties? Other properties we have already discussed. Okay, we are not going to discuss those. Okay, they are that uh, uh, that the angles, the exterior angle of a triangle. Those are part of my previous videos, which you can easily uh, view and study. Here we are going to main properties that we are going to do is to, if we take you have a triangle, okay, and, and let's call it A, B, C as we have continued doing that. And if, uh, if A, B is equal to A, C, then angle B is equal to angle C. Okay, there is a proof and which is very simple and there is nothing wrong in it. Uh, in doing it, let us uh, draw a perpendicular. Okay, let's draw the bisector of A. Let's draw bisector of A. Okay, let us draw this bisector. Okay. What does it give me? It gives me immediately two things. This is already said that you are equal. This one is common to both. And angle, this angle, included angle, this angle is equal to this angle. So we can write, again we write triangle A, B, D. My B are going here. A, B, D. And we take and on the other side we take triangle A, B, D, so it should be A, C, D, right? A, B, A, B is equal to A, C, so this is by uh, uh, given, okay, angle, uh, 
Oh, we have to prove this. Okay. Now, uh, and AB equal to AC and uh, AD is common. AD is equal to AD. This is common. Common. And angle B A D is equal to angle C A D by construction okay this I have constructed we have taken and constructed and this is also the included angle so this is called the uh, congruent so triangle so triangle triangle uh, a b d is congruent to triangle a c d by by s a s rule is it okay with you it has to be okay with you if that is true then definitely angle b equal to angle C by a congruent parts or uh, uh, corresponding parts of congruent triangles CPCT. Okay, this is good, and this is also theorem. This also constitute theorem theorem seven point two. This is done. What about the converse of this? What do you mean by converse? Let us do on this. Here we said that that this is reverse it. If we reverse this and say that and now we say angle B equal to angle C then AB would be equal to AC. So now understand this. Now we are saying if I find in a triangle these two angles are equal that means these two sides are equal. So if, if angle B is equal to angle C then AB equal to AC. So that is your the sides opposite to equal angles. Sides opposite to equal angles are are uh, uh, equal okay so now this this becomes that this changes to and this becomes theorem 7.3 that if a b equal to c then a b equal to a c okay now we will uh, do uh, again uh, we can uh, prove this one uh, by the similar method and uh, this we will do it uh, we will take the same two triangles and here here what is given this is not given this is has to be proven so this we will re remove this we will remove okay this will remain this thing this is by uh, construction and uh, uh, then we will have to find out another one and which we will be able to find and this is given angle B equal to angle C. So here I will write angle B equal to angle C. This is given. I just change that. Others remains all same. And then this is not by SAS rule. This becomes rule by Rule by two angles, two angles and this side. So A, A, S rule. Okay, two angles means which are the two angles? This angle and this angle. Okay, and this thing. So they become the second rule, A, A, S rule. You would be able to prove. Okay. And this will be AAS rule or A, sorry, ASA. ASA. Let us do it ASA as given in this thing. 
So A S rule also no why not? Let us keep it A A S. Okay, A S A also it will be uh, proven. Okay. Now this is over. So these are the two properties. Let us do now example number four on this uh, uh, on the same uh, properties so that you will be able to understand it better. So okay, let us do example number. Okay, example, here it says example 4. This is again chapter 7. The previous one was also. Okay, that is example 4. And in that example it says that uh, 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 in a triangle ABC, it has to be a triangle. Triangle A, B, C. What will happen? That uh, the bisector AD of this thing is perpendicular to the side BC. So this is 90. So definitely this is 90. Okay. Show that AB is equal to AC. Okay, now here it says, uh, here it says, show that AB, show that AB equal to AC. Now, and it says, and triangle there is isosceles. Definitely, if these two sides are equal, the triangle will be isosceles. This is redundant. And, and, the triangle and the triangle is isosceles. Iso C E L E S. Isosceles. Sorry, it should not be double S. Iso. Isosceles. Iso is means same. Okay, isosceles. Right? Now this is not required. Once you prove this, it automatically becomes isosceles. Don't get confused with this kind of a wording in a question. You have to be careful about, little bit about this. So what is given? It is given uh, that uh, uh, ABC bisector AB. That means angle. So let us take two triangles. First of all, do A, B, C and triangle A, C, D. What is given? First is E. A, D is equal to A, D. That is common. Okay. Then I can also say that angle B, A, C, B, A, D is equal to angle uh, B, uh, B, A, D is equal to angle B, se ke, so C, A, D. Okay, C, A, D. Okay, this is by construction. This is by Construction. I have done it. It's no. This is given. This, this is uh, uh, bisector. It says uh, bisector AD. This is also given. This is I have not done it. This is given because it's the bisector. Okay. And angle D. Angle D. Angle. This triangle. Angle A. B B A 
DB is equal to, equal to angle A, angle A, D, C. Angle A, D, C. This is also given. Therefore, therefore, A, B, C is congruent is congruent to triangle A, C, D. And what I have to prove? I have to prove that uh, AB equal to AC. So AB, since this is congruent, AB would be equal to AC. Prove. Okay. So what do we know when we have to apply? That if I have a triangle and if the bisector of angle is also perpendicular to BC, okay? And by what rule this become, uh, uh, this become uh, uh, congruent? This would be become congruent by uh, A, Two triangle, two angles are there. A, S, A rule. Or you can also apply A, A, S rule. Okay? So, A, A application of A, S, A. Because this angle is equal to this angle. Okay? So, one, two, and a side. And a side here. And that is, this is not the, and a side. Uh, this we have to prove. A, B equal to A, C. This is not this one. So you have angle, side, angle. Okay? This is the A, D is the common side. So you have by this rule. And so how we can, I, I can apply that I can apply it in other solution of other uh, uh, problems that if I have a, a triangle, in which a bisector of angle A is perpendicular to bisector of this thing, I can as I can consider that AB equal to AC. So remember when we are doing these examples, these examples are also given so that its application in other uh, solving other questions will be done. Okay, now we will go for example 5. Even though this has been done and I am doing it why? I am doing it why to, I have seen in many cases that the examples are not uh, being uh, done and if they are going to the solving the problem. So these properties are not, we cannot be, they are unable to use this property and as a result they are unable to solve the problem. So I thought I will uh, do the examples also, so that you know what are the various tricks and the solutions that are used and the assumptions that are made in order to solve certain problems. So, so let us do example number uh, 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 five. Again, it says uh, that uh, you have a triangle, you got to have a triangle, okay, this is A, B, C, okay, then are midpoints of E in midpoints of A, B, E is the midpoint of A, B, and F is the midpoint of A, C. And you join AB and AC. You join a BF and CE. So BF, you join BF, and then you join then you join EC BF. This is BF. Okay, and it is given AB is equal to AC. It's given. Because they are equal sides. And it is our midpoints. So which means AE 
equal to b a e equal to b and a f equal to c f because e and f are midpoints because e and f are midpoints this is done what do i have to prove so that no proof here so that so that bf is equal to ce so bf is equal to ce so what are the triangles that we will take we will definitely take this triangle and this triangle that means again do a little bit of uh, uh, hatch work I have done those two hatch words and then what will, what I can say is that I can always say in the triangles so what are the triangles I will take let us take triangle A B F okay okay instead of doing this I can I will do sorry this 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 looks easy uh, A B okay let us see A B F A B F and triangle uh, let us uh, let's see uh, what happens which one is easy okay let me rub this portion off hatching off it's a wrong hatching I it's, it's not intent to uh, do this I can do it this way also but we will take two different angles okay let us see this because then this should be easy okay so we will take what are the two triangles we will take we will take this triangle this triangle this triangle and we will take triangle uh, AC ACE and we will take triangle A C E definitely I have, I have no other choice but we have to take these two triangles only so we are going to take these two triangles let us take these two triangles okay what do I have in A, B, F, A, B, F, I have uh, A, E. A, E is equal to, that is of uh, which triangle? That's of the pink triangle. No, that's of, of this thing. A, B, F. And uh, in A, B, F, uh, A, B, F, uh, A, E. No. AB should be equal to AB equal to AC, not AB. Sorry. This is AB and this is AC, they are given. AB equal to AC, that is given. Okay. And what else is, has been given? Angle A is common to both. Angle A is equal to angle A common. Common. And what else is given? A is C. This is AE is equal to AF. That is also given. AE is equal to AF. AE is equal to AE is equal to AF. AE is equal to 
A F yeah, yes yes yeah, because this is the half of the same thing I have taken on this side A Z equal to A F that means this side and this side are equal this is of this triangle and this is of this thing A E of this thing so I can say triangle A B F is congruent to triangle a, C, E is triangle triangle. So what we have to prove, then if that is true, then I can take B, F is equal to C, A, B, F is equal to C, E, that is equal to by C, P, C, T. Okay, this is proven. We continue uh, uh, with uh, now example, that's the last example. Instead of example 5, it will be now example 6. What does example 6 says? Again, we are going to talk about isosceles triangles because remember, we were one of the properties that we are discussing here is that the, if the sides of uh, uh, two sides are equal, then the opposite angles are equal or the two ang opposite angles are equal then the opposite sides are equal so these are the properties that are being exploited here to solve this problem so in an isosceles <coughs> triangle that means i am not ab equal to cd d and e are points on bc d so d comes first and then e are points on BC. This is BC, so uh, this is D and this is E. Okay, now it says what it says that BE, B means this, is equal to CD, is equal to CD. This is equal to CD. Okay, they are equal. Okay, so since this is an isosceles triangle, as is given, AB equal to, I can write, uh, BC, and I can also write angle B equal to angle C. Okay, because this is given, this is given, this is given, this is given. What else is given? What else is given is BE is equal to CD, is equal to CD. This is also given. These two are given. Okay, what I have to show, because there is nothing, this is here, no the proof is given, it says so that. So that, so that AD, so AD means I have to join AD. So I have to join AD. AD equal to AE. So I have to join AE also. Okay. Now, again, so, oh, 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 so I have to prove to show that uh, BD equal to BE. So, so that AD, that's what I'm saying. AD is equal to a E. So these two lines are equal. So that means this line is equal to this particular line. Okay, I have got no choice but to use these two triangles. This triangle and this triangle. So as is the procedure, we will hatch it then. We will use this triangle so that in case of confusion, we will know what we have made a mistake on. This triangle and I will take this triangle. Okay, now let's see what we can do. And whatever we can take advantage of this thing. In these two triangles, we will again write down those two triangles. A triangle... A, B, D and triangle 
A C E. Okay, what is given? These two triangles, what is given? Angle B is equal to angle C. This is given. I am only reproducing that. This is given. What else is given? Uh, this is angle B equal to angle C. Another one is given as this is, this is an angle. Okay. A side is given AB is equal to AC. This is given and this is a side. So I should have at least an angle or a side. So let me now exploit this problem. Okay. What is BE? What is BE? BE is equal to BD. BD plus let us see D. Okay. And uh, uh, CD. What is CD? What is CD? CD is also CE plus DE. Now it is given, it has been given that B equal to C. Therefore, since B E is equal to C D, I can write B D plus D E is equal to C E plus D E. So see, D is common on both sides. So if, you, if I cut the, the, this one, if I, these are gone, so then it gives me BD is equal to CE. This is done. So I got the third side. So BD is equal to CE is the another side. So now I can prove, therefore, it is given, it is already given. So now I can say that triangle ABD, ABD is congruent to triangle ACE. BD is equal to ACE. Okay? And if that is true, if that becomes true, then in that case, I can do two things here. Uh, then it is easily to show what is it I have to show is that I have to show AD is equal to A. Therefore, therefore, AD is equal to AE as required. As required. So this one is over. So this, all the examples are here. This, this thing you have to, you don't get confused. This is a very nice uh, uh, trick. This is becoming common and this is given like this one. Okay, now we'll next we'll request all of you to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Because this is, we'll con you will immediately get whatever new video is posted on the channel and that will immediately get, you will get. You don't have to search for it, which is a major benefit for you. Thank you. Good day.